Good afternoon, traders. This is Christian from Hertz Traffic at Trade Group. And today is Wednesday, the 21st. 21st, I had to check the, the date there. Hope everybody had a great day. Uh, let's go over the market action because uh, there is definitely uh, some some uh, decent moves for the day. Um, some, some interesting things to talk about. I will try to uh, talk quickly because uh, I've got a number of uh, you know areas to kind of um, go through and some trades to go over. So risk disclaimer in front of you, everything that we're going through is for information purposes only, not giving out any advice or recommendations. Please read full risk disclaimer right there. Uh, you could see to the right of the screen, um, you know, overall uh, good participation across the board. It's very strong breath day. Um, you could see on the bottom left, the indicator that we use, which is uh, what we call the market breath uh, volume um, indicator. It really gives you a good sense of whether, you know, what the participation is for the day to the upside or to the downs downside it looks like it looks at up volume versus down volume um, and it was pretty much it, it was strong throughout the day it backed off a little bit um, you can kind of see this over that over the hour right but this is the strongest breath that we've had right in um, a good couple of weeks because I think we start a couple of these other days of course which were kind of weird like that they started the day very strong in breath but we didn't have a day that we kind of were able to kind of close and um, and end decently let's talk about the indices first and then we've got a number of uh, single stock movers that we can um that we can go over in this video but i wanted to start where i left off uh, yesterday's video so we had talked about you know i i had the one hour chart up first too and what i showed here was that um, you know, price was basically just right at this um, this version point of control. Again, a lot of times these things act as what I refer to them, the version point of controls as magnets, right? Price likes to kind of hang around where there was a lot of volume before. You know, once we kind of revisit that area, kind of take out um, that version point of control, we do sometimes spend, uh, you know, a, a return back there and um, some digestion. So this is where we were yesterday. We just really weren't ready. You know, we had this nice bounce from the from the overnight lows, but um, we didn't have the um, we didn't have the momentum and the and you know that stronger volume like we had today to kind of push us through. But um, you know, here here's where it won, and um, you know, very strong in the beginning of the day. And, um, you know, we, we kind of held in there. So a couple of things that, that I note um, on this, right? And, and you know, this kind of keeps things in perspective for me uh, because we, we do have, you know, from what we've seen from after the Fed meeting, right, which is, which is where we kind of lost this move. Remember, we were also talking about the 20 period moving average in yesterday. But since, since we lost this, we did inflict some technical damage, right? Now, so for example, one of the things that we're going, we might, if we continue with this trajectory higher, we're going to hit some resistance um, for the week. And that's at 39.47. That's another 30, um, what, 35 handles uh, above here. So we, we could definitely um, you know, in my opinion, rally a little bit further, but then it's going to be really interesting what happens here. And this might be a place to kind of take some profits if you've, you know, kind of been legging into some trades, right? I know that the seasonality, right, when we look at the strongest time of the year is next week, but but who knows? Um, you know, we'll, we'll just kind of have to see when we get there. For now, you're kind of getting some of that um, that strength now. And, um, you know, I, I think that that's, that's pretty good, especially for this market. This has not been a home run type market. So, you know, if you can plan out one day, two days, or, you know, find a level that you could trade against, um, that's really been the best thing. You know, that's that's been a, a pretty good formula for this market. So that's a lot of time to spend on just the one hour chart. Um, where we've got the resistance, um, we did come back and you know so the positive here, right, is that we did um, get back into the value area for December. We just have to deal with some of these things. You know, we've got to deal with some of this overhead supply. Just as I mentioned on the one-hour chart, we're also going to have the 50-day moving average, the 20-day moving average. So it's a little bit messy. Um, we did get above the five-period moving average today, so that's positive. But uh, again, it, it, it's going to need some really strong. Um, you know, breath, uh, market breath like we had to today to be able to get through some of that resistance. Um, I don't know, you know, personally, like I'm thinking that this would be, a, if we do get a push into this, that this would be a good place to to start, you know, to be trimming and selling and, and, um, and locking in some gains for the year. 
All right. Um, if we, uh, you know, like I said, if we continue to to um, to go up with this trajectory, um, we, you know, Nasdaq was a good example of uh, what I was just referring to was. If I can bring this up appropriately. There we go. Um, you know, similar thing here. We've got resistance up here at 11,516. But I just wanted to point you to the, kind of the same concept here, right? Notice that there was a virgin point of control that was taken out at 1030. We went a little bit higher, gave it, gave some back, went a little bit higher again, took out the highs around uh, two o'clock, but then kind of settled in here for a while. So again, you know, that's just like, you know, it's, um, where there's a lot of volume, we're going to spend some time around. And, and that's what we did today. But still, very, very strong day. Russell, we were actually talking about, you know, uh, how well the, you know, the Russell's been doing and the, the seasonality. We were talking about that in the in the um, PCG trading room today. Um, there is some data we were looking at a study that says towards the end of the year <clears throat> you know how strong the russell can be um so you've got resistance up there at 1819 um and we were we talked about a little bit of a, a trade idea to kind of play that move um you know to the end of the year maybe into this 1819 again which is not that big of a move like to, you know that's basically another two percent or a little bit less than two percent up Right. But then again, you know, that's where things could get rejected and could get dicey again, would be, um, you know, coming into that bottom of value. So I, I would be aware of that. Um, we did get above the five period moving average. And then you've got the 50 and you got the 20 day moving average, which will also um, which coincides with that bottom of value there. So, again, that will definitely be something to pay attention to. Let's talk about a couple of different sectors today, which I, I thought were interesting. Um, Let's start with um, actually. Let's start with China first. You know, we saw some option activity, uh, some repeat call buying, both in the in the internet ETF, which is KWeb, as well as some individual names, um, and a lot of the smaller cap names. I mean, these things have really been running. Um, you know, TAL is a good example of that that was a name that was on our. Um, weekend watch list. Look at the volume the last five days in this. Um, so th this is this is a big move. Um, you know, going from five bucks to to nine. Um, and again, look at the base. Right. We we talk about this a lot um, this year. We've seen a lot of names uh, that have been in decline mode, and they really most of them haven't really found a footing yet. But like this is something that's a pretty good example of like sometimes it just takes a while for names after they're done declining to go to basically start to um, move back up again. So, I mean, I think this is a great picture of patience, right? How long has this thing been going sideways like this? What, like a good year or so, right? Um, actually, I think almost two years that this thing has been going sideways, you know, actually like almost a huge inverted head and shoulders. Here's your head. And I don't know, there's several uh, shoulders in here, but again, also some false moves in there, right? This was a move from four bucks to like six, right? And kind of gave it back and almost, went back to the lows around three dollars um and now look at this thing go right um another one too that's kind of uh is like you know right is very similar company or 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 industry is this edu which has also been making a nice move not quite as um not quite as the um i mean very strong move but not the same type of volume Right. And then today we were seeing like all kinds of calls in this IQ, um, which was up 22 <laughs> percent. So, again, small, ca small cap uh, Chinese Internet names. Um, if we look at look, you know, the a couple of names that you've if you're a regular viewer of my videos, you know that I've talked about, which is, you know, names like PDD, which could be setting up here, you know, spent some time after taking out speaking of version point of control. This one here, a lot of lot of digestion um, move back into the 20 day move moving average and maybe this thing wants to continue up. Um, I actually took a little position of this uh, Billy, right? Billy, Billy, right? same kind of concept here. Remember this had good earnings, made a really nice high momentum uh, move, then kind of sat back into your, to the 200 day moving average, you know, where all these moving averages kind of uh, met up here. So I, I, I took, I got involved in a trade here, um, I like the setup here. And, and again, you know where the trade is going to work versus not work, right? And that's right at the 200-day moving average, right? So that's that's the plan for that trade. So so that was pretty interesting in terms of um, that group having strength that actually advanced the most from the open. Um, you had things like, you know, the the internets, which kind of, they, they led early. Um, they did they didn't close on the exact highs, 
um, you could see that this is the um, the XBI ETF, right? So equally weighted biotech ETF, you know, just has spent a lot of time around, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth over the 200 day moving average. Also um, hitting, it hit a little bit of resistance there at the top of value, 83, 80, 83, 37. But you've got some decent participation. And I think, again, you know, in some of the smaller names, um, Sarepta, which unfortunately I'm not in any, this thing took off without me. Um, I was in this thing last week and um, it did fine. This was a winning trade for me, but um, really nice move here up 3%. I was in Halo, which I got out of. I took some profits in, uh, but we saw some calls going up in, in a name like this, ALT, -A which is Alt Immune. Um, I did take a position in this, even though it took out that VPOC today. Um, another name making the rounds is this um, this PDSB. Right. Also strong. You've got a VPOC coming up there at 1059. But again, good, good participation in this group. And that's something interesting to see. Um, again, kind of sticking with that theme where we talked about the small caps. Right. There's there's um, a decent amount of of, you know, small cap momentum and energy, too. Right. I think we talked a little bit about this name yesterday. HLX added to some gains, not anything crazy today, but also this nine right which has been showing some really nice strength um of, i i actually was in this one yesterday and and i didn't like how it closed i thought it was might be getting rejected there and i took this thing off um unfortunately uh yesterday and um you know right towards the end of the day and uh, of course it moved up to 1250 today so but again it's that theme right now of um some small cap momentum to it a couple other trades too um Right. I, I, you know, I love the defense type areas where this is not exactly in a, I don't think this is known as a defense name, but um, nice move back into value for this one, A-X-O-N, right? And if you're looking at the whole group, right, this is the ITA aerospace and defense group, um, remains super strong, right? I like to see that. I like to see names that were a little bit weak, but not, but not breaking down last week. So all it took is, you know, sometimes if it is a little bit of weakness, sometimes all it takes is one strong day to kind of get that back into um, breakout territory. The metal space was super strong today too. ATI had a nice move, right? That gets you back above the value area. CMC, right? But, um, but this whole group, was strong today even though i don't like i don't love this chart here in xme the metals and mining you can kind of go through and find some individual uh names in this group what else did i have written down and then you know the industrial space right i mean caterpillar we've been talking about caterpillar um very frequently over the last um over the last week this was our note that we sent out to members earlier in the week uh talk highlighting you know where to watch 23709 so you got a nice breakthrough here um you know breaking through this value area but you could see how we highlighted this saying basically get ready put an alert on for this one and i did add this into the ttg trend portfolio um today so i'm, I'm long via that portfolio um, another name that um, I was in last week and unfortunately got stopped out of it. Um, look at the digest or look at the consolidation back here. So yes, um, sometimes when you have one of these virgin point of controls uh, lurking up here, um, this was a this was a frustrating trade because I didn't want to take a target that close by last week. And son of a gun, I I should have taken um, the target because the very next day um, in here I, I got stopped out in the trade. Um, I believe it was the next day, but I, I'm inclined to get back involved in this name if it can jump back above. And now at least that version point of control has been taken out. So this is Emerson. Um, what brought my attention to this name was that we saw some call buying um, in uh, in this name. Another name that we saw call buying too just on Monday was was SPR, was which was up 5.5%. So um you know, best way I could I could say, you know, if if you like receiving these types of notes with ideas, and we did we did highlight um, a couple bearish setups as well as well as bullish, and I think both worked. Um, we saw a lot of puts in Marriott earlier in the week, um, as well as Carmax. Um, that was a name that I took. Here was the um, SPR setup, right? I thought that was a pretty good looking setup. Um, and there you go, nice pop up to here. So we do put out this note a couple times a week, um, but you have to be a member. Uh, to get it. I, I send out one that was a little bit late today um, as a as a free version, but, um, you know, sign up to be a member so that you can get on the list because, um, 
you know, we're provide, I, I try to provide a little bit of a combination of, you know, option activity as well as good sector set, you know, good setups where I'm seeing strength in a sector. And then I basically dig into the um, sector to find where the strength is. But this one was a real nice one too, right? Look at YPF, you know, make a nice, um, you know, nice turn here, getting above the moving averages and look at the follow through on that. Again, small cap name, right? $8, Eight dollar stock, but that's what that's what is really uh, is working um, in this market. So that's it. Um, you know, again, a, a nice trading day. Um, we know where our resistance is, and we've got a we've got our plan, and we'll go from there. And of course, adapt if there's um, th if the market changes. Have a good night, everybody, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow in the trading room.